Hi, folks. <laughs> you are watching and listening to Sipping Off the Cuff on Tequila Aficionado Media and all of our channels and networks. I'm Mike Morales here in the, the heartbeat of the San Gabriel Valley of Southern California. That guy out there is Skip Falconer in Chile, Los Angeles. Is it cold? Is it cold out where you are? Oh, oh, it's been it's been kind of chilly. Uh, oh, you, the you weekend go, it yeah, was like go. 185 degrees, yeah. and now it's gone down to like yeah. 60. Well, it's and people fun. watching will say 60. Oh my God! You, and you're talking about it's chilly. Well, you're closer to to the city than I am. I'm I'm, a, I'm in the valley. It's like 71. So I'm wearing shorts again. No, <laughs> I, put a, no. I put away the sweat. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to have, this is a special uh, edition of, of Sipping Off the Cuff because we don't do this very often. We did it one time uh, in 2021 when Dave and I talked about packaging. And the reason we're going to do that with this brand, this, is, this, is, this may look like a brand new tequila, okay? It's called Luna Nueva. I'm going to show you that this is not brand new, but it's so, it looks so beautiful that it requires a breakdown. And I'll tell you why, okay? Yes. So I was telling Skip off camera that I was going through some old stuff and I ran across a t-shirt because, you know, I, I, first of all, I got to say, I got to thank every tequila company that's ever sent me a t-shirt because otherwise I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have a, a, I wouldn't have a wardrobe. Okay. So, so when I was living in New Mexico, this brand, I thought I had seen this before because it rang a bell. I said, don't, didn't they exist when I was living there? And, and I went through some old stuff. I found a t-shirt that they had sent me. Watch this. This is going to blow everybody away. All right. I ran across this t-shirt. I don't even know if you can see this. This is Luna Nueva. Wow. Look at, look at that old branding. And, and that's, that's the dancing skeleton, right? <laughs> and, it, and it was called Luna Nueva 2012. All right. This was 10 years ago. Right. Yeah. And I think it was, I think it was actually branded. Uh, it came, it rolled out before 2012. Okay. Like maybe a year or two before just that. This is the back and the label looked like this. This was what was on the label of the original bottles. Why is this a big deal? Skip and I are going to show you. Um, we want, first of all, we want to thank Christina Pachulis for making this happen. She, uh, she had reached out to us back in 2020 and, you know, pandemic kind of stopped a lot of things. And, and it turns out she reached out to us uh, just recently and said, you know, I, I know that um, back in the day, which was like, you know, 2020 or something, um, she wanted to know if we were still doing what we're doing because she remembered us and and she sent us these bottles but she also sent us a packet check this out this is about their brand new branding i mean th she um this is like photo high quality photography paper or something and yeah. uh, look at they what did they do skip didn't they break down all the colors and they're, where they took their inspiration because it's really South. All, all the colors they have, they have the brand story, they have the mood board, they have the color palette, they have the design pillars. Look at this. I mean, they're, they're it, it, it's illustration, the label design, the bottle tops. <laughs> I mean, it's engraving and seal. Wow. This this it's incredible. You know, this is like a um it's a complete deck for for rebranding. There wasn't it seems that there wasn't a there wasn't anything that they missed. You know, there was every little nook and cranny of that bottle you know was was on purpose. The label design, they even discussed the labels. I'm not going to read all that stuff to you guys cuz, you know, <laughs> all you're going to see is a pretty bottle on on the shelf. But I thought that this was so well thought out. Even, even the tape that they put the, we haven't even broke the seal on these. It, look at the, the, they're, 
they even talk about the tape on on the uh, on the cellophane on the bottle before you break the yeah. the, the seal. It's like every every inch of this bottle stands for something. But Mike, the bottle tops yeah. here it says the cap design was developed in collab collaboration with top industrial leaders. It's functionality, conceptuality, and history of the bottom top. <laughs> um, they they are available on Instagram. Okay, uh, uh, that's where we they have an official account. Uh, we actually fo follow Christina as well. That's a that's a private account. You can't follow her unless she knows you. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, they, there's not an inch, even the website. I mean, here's, and, and this, this must've been the presentation deck that they, they were sent when, when they, when they job this out, whoever the designer, do, do they give a name of who the designer is? Because uh. they did a, a fantastic job of the complete this is the completed pitch the branding guide no i, I don't see a i don't see any uh designer name on there. yeah and you know that it figures because when you when you buy this when you you, you own it i mean you, you're the brand owner this is yours now okay um what a fantastic job i mean yeah i i have seen marketing decks okay uh, every once in a while, a brand will send us a, you know, I, I, we always ask to send us information on the brand. And how many times, Skip, do we get anything? We get oh. no, nothing, right? Nothing, nothing. And, and so when we got this, it's like, holy cow. And, oh, and they sent us a, a really nicer t-shirt. That's a branded t-shirt with the colors, which is really cool. And, yeah. a, and a bag, it's a burlap bag with, you know, really nice like a beach bag beautiful yeah um the only thing is the uh the t-shirt that they sent me was a medium yeah well you know they, <laughs> they, uh, here's the other thing i i will tell you that most of the time they send you the odd size because i the, by the same token when i thank all the brands for sending us t-shirts so yeah. many of them wind up at you know at someone else's house because they're too small all right yeah so my medium my i couldn't put on a medium since uh Yes, it's high school, right? Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've been an extra large for a long time, and you know, the, the shirts that they that they send now are fitted. They used to be yeah. the big, the big, you know, like like the one I showed you. Uh, now they're fitted, so uh, they fit even more snugly, and especially if they've got branding on both sides. And so, uh, but that's okay. That's another story. Anyway, I thought I thought it was worth uh, talking about because when you see this bottle on 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 stage when you see it you know uh in the liquor store you're you're gonna want to you're gonna want to know the story about about this stuff because this is the first time i've ever been i've ever been sent a branding deck yeah um i i'm just amazed at the thought you know because some bottles you know throughout throughout the brand's career they last longer than five ten years um very often the bottle changes, you know, it goes from a standard bottle to a more, uh, you know, once the brand uh, acquires traction, it goes to a, a rebranding. Uh, sometimes they change the name. And in other brands, uh, a consultant, which we used in the business, we call, I call them insultants. That, you know, especially if they, <laughs> if you want to be, if you want, uh, you know, a, a big, distributor to get a hold of you you're gonna to have to change the look of the bottle right and depending on that's why guys like me who you know old dogs who've been around and, and skip if you follow skip you've seen a lot of his collection skip how many times have we talked about the old school bottles with the foil labels and how beautiful yeah. they are we yes miss them. we miss them because that's it's reminiscent of the tequila that we drank that that we sipped on it was really good stuff. It was right. You know, if they had the old metal plate or the foil plate, um, you know, it it sometimes it denoted quality. 
because it was quality. You know, a lot of that stuff was was hard to find. Now, I guess for a more modern age, you know, the stuff looks like this to, to keep up, you know, with the 21st century, right? So it's got to look something like this. But see, the, the thing is, it's got to look like this because it has to, it has to be, it has to be modern, but kind of nostalgic, right? So you have brands like Hotel California that that I love that bottle. And it comes in yeah. colored bottles, you know, it's iridescent with a with an interesting cap. And I can't tell you, I, I know the, the gentleman who, who reps the brand now. In fact, it was a it was a legacy brand of promise winner last year in 2021. And and he and he tells me, I can't tell you how many times people have asked us to change that bottle. And I say, don't do it. Because because the tequila inside is amazing. And it's yes, really old school. And now, because they've survived over over 10 years, they're a legacy brand. If they change over nobody's it's like restarting you know you've got enough traction now leave it alone leave it alone but uh i showed you the t-shirt that was the original branding i'm kind of glad they went this way <laughs> so yeah. Um, yeah so that being said the reason we're having this this conversation is because i'm going to nominate it for brand of promise and branding and packaging it's yes. amazing i haven't even tasted the juice yet but at least in the packaging arena, they win, <laughs> you know, or at least they absolutely. This is amazing. Yeah, I'll turn yeah. I'll turn mine the right side up. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, well, it even came with it, you know, they had to give us a clip for it, you know. And, and oh yeah. So, so it's like we had Keep to everything together. It. Yeah. We had to talk about it. Uh, but that's that's our take on Luna Nueva. On the branding and the packaging, okay? But now stick with us because we got another three expressions to go through. And we're going to tell you whether this juice is worth all this work or not, okay? So, so stick with <laughs> us. Uh, that's so funny. I'm Mike Morales here in the San Gabriel Valley of Southern California. You've been watching and listening to, uh, to a special edition of Sipping Off the Cuff, the branding issue. <laughs> um, yeah, the branding issue. Uh, I'm here in in uh, San Gabriel Valley. That guy out there is Skip Falconer in Los Angeles. And uh, stick with us. Uh, whatever you do, if you're watching us on on YouTube, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, give us a like because that helps on the algorithm. And whatever you do, no matter sabiamente, sip wisely. <laughs> <laughs>